everyone and welcome to this episode with Travelling Oz Our Way. Hey guys, how are you going? So as you know, we've left, uh, our last episode was all about Denim and Monkey Mire and now we're, this episode is all about Big Lagoon and Skipjack Point. Well, Cape Peron really. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we're on our way up to uh, Big Lagoon now. Um, we're travelling still with Darren and Tracy. Big Lagoon is a um, national park, uh, you may be aware, and it's uh, there's no booking system. You just turn up and first in, first served. Yeah, first in, first served. Uh, it's only $7 a head for seniors and I think... $11. $11 for others. Now, the road outs, um, oh, it's not too bad. It, it's definitely four-wheel drive. You need to let your tyres down. Where you air down to... Uh, about 30 in the caravan and I dropped the rears in the ram down to about 28 <coughs> and about 25 in the front um, and we poked out there. Leave, good idea to leave them down if you're going out to Big Lagoon and you're planning to do, particularly if you're planning to do Skipjack and Cape Peron because uh, that's a bit more of a challenge. I dare you dig a little deeper It makes you feel a little stronger Who knows what you may find You'll see in your own time It might just take a little longer It all goes by so slowly Ooh, you waited your whole life Your days turn into night We've just arrived at Big Lagoon and uh, we've waited about half an hour because we found a site that someone was leaving so we just sort of hung out till they packed up and just backing in now. So once we set up at uh, Big Lagoon, we were really fortunate that um, we got a site right next to our friends. So that was really, really uh, lucky, I think. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you just sort of have to hang out there and wait for someone to leave, even park in the, the day car park until someone pops, you know, pops out. So. Yeah, there's about 10 or 12 good spots there and um, you can sort of hang in there for a bit. Um, Really nice place, you know, you've got the big lagoon behind you. The, the footage you're seeing is from the lookout, so... Yeah, there's um, this great uh, boardwalk to get up to the lookout and there's a seat up there and people tend to congregate up there in the afternoons. If they don't congregate up there, they, they go to the platforms or the little... Um, <coughs> yeah, they've got a lot of these little, these little hangout platforms uh, with yeah. chairs on them for you to have drinks at sunset. If you're really lucky... Um, you'll probably definitely see a shark or two in Big Lagoon. Um, dugongs are there as well. Plenty of rays, and if you're really lucky, you'll see a dugong. Um, I flew out over the water because there was a dugong out there, but I don't think I was clever enough to get him or her because she, she had a little calf with her. So um, mm, It's quite stunning, the, the contrast yeah, of colours. Yeah, really, really beautiful.
So today we're heading out to uh, the national park, out to... Um, actually, we're actually going up to Skipjack Point. Yeah. Uh, now this is Francois Perron National Park, um, covered by your parks pass in Western Australia. The road up, a um, little bit of a challenge. Um, yeah, it, it it's, <laughs> it's pretty rough, pretty sandy. And it claims a lot of people. So the yeah. first tip is probably go up in the morning because uh, not, not as many people, like if you can get up there early, um, not as many people have been on the road. By the afternoon, the road's pretty boggy. Yeah, well, it's not boggy as in wet, but um, it, it dries out. The sun dries the sand out and it gets very, very sandy and it gets very loose. So a bit more of a challenge in the late afternoon after a hot day. Yeah, but very, very, very worth it. Yeah. Very well worth it. Yeah. So our first point of uh, to stop is at Skipjack Point, and you can see that this is wonderful boardwalk um, that goes all the way out um, to the edge or the cliffs of the point, and um, oh, it's absolutely stunning. So the platform up here at Skipjack Point, Bob, is, uh, <clears throat> it's like a window into the ocean, actually. You look down from above and you definitely will see, we've been there a couple of times now, and you will definitely see sharks. Uh, you might see a whale on the horizon. You'll see, you'll see dolphins, rays, stingrays, turtles, turtles, everything. Huge fish. It's just, you could just spend hours up there actually and the, if you've got a pair of binoculars definitely take those for the kids but it's you know it's just the ocean in front of you and the colors are just amazing yeah it's uh, and if you've got a drone it's drone heaven yeah <laughs> so once we left skipjack point we uh drove around to the actual point of cape peron and we got Which out. is only about a K. Yeah, and yeah. we actually went over the red sand dune and onto the beach. And uh, it was pretty hot the first time we went. It absolutely burnt our feet, but we ran straight in and put them in the water. But we went around the corner following our wiki camps and we found there's a, a cave around there. And particularly if it's low tide, you'll be able to walk into the cave. If it's high tide, I wouldn't go anywhere near it because there's a lot of sharks up around this area. But it's, once again, stunning. The bird life is amazing. So 
So once we'd uh, finished looking at the point, we came back and put, called into a few of the campgrounds, or a few of the beaches actually. There's quite a few up there. Yeah, there's good, there's good facilities. A lot of people camp up there. Gregory's, Gregory's South Gregory's, um, Harold Bite on the way back. Um, it's really a lot of, there's a lot of fishing, uh, a lot of beach camping. Yeah, and if you can get your camp, like if you've got a rooftop tent or you've tenting or I don't know, like if you've got something that, that is able to be pulled out there, you can actually camp camp out there and the campgrounds are on the beach. So uh, we didn't do that. We chose to stay at Big Lagoon, but it's definitely the beautiful area, really pristine beaches, blue, blue, turquoise water. The sand's amazing. Yeah, I have to take that. Oh. So also while we're up at Big Lagoon, we uh, went over to the Peron Homestead Heritage Precinct. And the reason we went over there is they've got a hot water bore or yeah. a spa. Hot water spa. Yeah, so a hot tub basically. Hot tub. And boy, it's hot. Mm. <laughs> the first time we went, we went at night time because it was a really hot, uh, it was uh, April, May, and it was really, really yeah, quite, quite hot. hot. So we chose to go after dark and still it was very, very hot. The second time we came back, we came back with our family and we went in the day because it, and it just wasn't as hot as it was that time. So it's a lovely spot to, to go. You can um, sit in the, the hot tub. Um, there's plenty of grass area for the kids to run around and there's a little museum to have a look through that gives you the history of the whole area. And the museum's quite worth it actually. Yeah. yeah. It's only a little shed but it's really, that's not that shed, that, that no, shed there's right. the bloody <laughs> toilet. <laughs> <laughs> but if you, you know, if you're educating your kids on the road or you, you know, you, even you're just wanting to find more about the history, then it's... You just it's a self guided tour, there's lots of there's a little bit of reading and lots of things to look at, so well worth popping into the uh, the museum. It's not open at night time obviously, but just the daytime. We've just come down to the Peron Heritage Precinct and we've been in the hot tub. Oh, oh, oh birthday boy in the hot tub with the old girl. <laughs> it's really hot water. <laughs> oh, it was hot all right, baby. <laughs> oh, <it's chopped. laughs> we had a whole heap of kids there, we had to behave. <laughs> <laughs> well worth a, a trip down into the hot tub though, it was really, it was really pleasant. Yeah. yeah.
So it's time to reinflate the tyres after we've been out at Big Lagoon. What are they? What are they going up to, Doug? Oh, I'll take them back up to uh, tyre road pressure. I'll go back up to 44 in the back. Great thing about WA, uh, they have these uh, inflating tyre stations. So it's just pull up before you and after you've been on the roads and get yourself sorted. Well, that's it for Big Lagoon. Yeah, yeah, it's been four good days. We've done a bit of travelling around, Bob. Yeah, we sure have, and the weather's been beautiful out here. We've been up to Skipjack. Um, and explored the um, hot artesian baths. Yeah, and now uh, we're dragging these vans out now. Yep, we're heading into Denham today to wash the van and the car and fill up on uh, water, dump the toilet, yeah. fill the fridge and the pantry. And then off again. And then we're heading off uh, and going to bunker down for Easter. So uh, thanks everyone for watching. And we'll catch up with you real soon. Get this van out of this sand. Good place here in Denham. Uh, you can get in and out of the yard all right. I can get in with the big van. Uh, $20 for under 20 minutes. I just give the ram a quick going over. Obviously we're going back out in the bush again. So just tie this up and get a bit of the red dirt off. Great little facility. They've got uh, a bit of truck wash there. and water yeah and just be aware that denim water is probably the most expensive water in australia yeah, but um and as such you know we don't mind paying twenty dollars to get a few minutes of, of truck of wash water for the for the truck you know they pay a lot for their water out here so um if we can help them out a little bit i don't mind doing that at all so thanks denim thanks the guys at the wash and um we'll see you next time we come here so we've called into the Denham water facility or the water depot and we're filling up our tanks before we head off a few flies this morning. So I'll just show you where we are. So it's just, it's just opposite the Ampole uh, self-service fuel depot. And so you'll see here you pull in and the water facility is here. Uh, just you need your own hose and connections obviously and you need one and or two dollar coins or other coins uh, and you just uh, fill up basically gives you 20 litres and uh, it's desalinated water so um, you know, if you want your filter on then it's quite it's quite drinkable hey guys how you going Hi. so we're just filling up with water and um, Bob's using um, his app I'm just using the BM Pro app so I can watch the tanks fill outside, which is really cool. And we've got a, we've just got a little regulator on the end with a small hose. We have a, have a problem with an airlock filling the tank so I can regulate it and just sit back and wait. It's an interesting point, guys. Um, we're here at Denham at the uh, water facility opposite the Ampole self-serve service station and just to let you know uh, because i come from the water industry i had a fair bit to do with it i can tell you this is a reverse osmosis plant located in this building here um, that gives us this drinking water so this drinking water providing their processes are good will be very high quality drinking water um, you probably find that they take ground water. Well, actually, it says here they take high saline groundwater at 4,500 parts per million. They treat it through a reverse osmosis filter. And I can tell you from being in the industry, this would be really good high quality drinking water. So we're topping up here. It's a dollar for 20 litres. Um, and um, yeah, water's good. I've already had a taste, so it's great. Okay, so we're finally on the road. So we uh, uh, left Big Lagoon, as you know, and, and hit the dirt road, and we've just come into Denham to do all those jobs that we said we were going to do. And um, what do you reckon it's taken us? Five hours. It's taken us five hours. So keep that in mind if you're uh, coming in from Blue, uh, Big Lagoon, um, just to allow yourself plenty of time to fill up. Fill up with water, empty the, dump the toilet, we went down and shopped and stocked up, 
caught up with some friends, had a bit of a chat, had a coffee, something yeah. to eat. Went to the great little cafe here, yeah. washed the car, washed the caravan, yeah. and we're finally ready to hit the road. So I'm sure you could probably do it in under five hours, but just allow yourself plenty of time um, to you know, do what you need to do. Yeah, get the things done that you want to get done. Yeah. So uh, thanks, Denim. Thanks uh, for all your services, and we will see you next time. You. Yeah.